First time here, but first back. time, yes. Az, what up, man? Yeah. Represent. This your, okay, so Two. we got to talk about. It. So this album you just dropped uh, is your first album in how long? <laughs> Fifteen years, man. So this is the first album <laughs> since the Connect. <laughs> Jesus. Fifteen years. I, uh, you know, uh, I had to get inspired, man. You know, I never stopped recording. Right. Never stopped. No, writing. you were always recording, and I feel like never stopped being, being around, MC. being in the mix. I'm a, I'm a true, you know, I, I write. You know, that's what I do. I've been recording since I was a kid. But as far as, um, you know, just, get, you know, I, I needed, I didn't have nothing. It was, wasn't no motivation to, to, you know, drop this. And, you know, the game is like double dutch. Right. You know, you got to know when to come in, know when to come out. You know, there's news, you know, but m what I'm representing right now is just basically bars. Right. So we're back. So for people <laughs> who don't know, man, obviously you're from my hometown. You're kind of like, uh, yo, there was this era of arizona hip-hop which is was so crazy because it felt like we made it yeah and uh it was when you signed with dtp What's hot rod about? who's not necessarily from arizona he was more it was sacramento yeah but he was from, uh, at, sacramento. The, at the time he was kind of banging az uh he signed a g unit you were a part of i, I know you were kind of close with with, with rod and yeah. then Juice signed with the game. Mm -hmm. All these things happened kind of within the same, I don't know, year and a half or so. That was a crazy time, man. Yeah, so it, it felt like, oh, shit, that AZ's was, got some shit That was cooking. a crazy, but the, the whole Hot Rod situation happened first. No, the Hot Rod thing happened because I remember you were like. I was I was riding with you Rod. You were with them at 50's house. Niggas, they started hating on Rod. Who but was he, hating? Man, a lot of people. They was mad In Arizona? Them. Yeah, man. I oh, was yeah. like, no. So you're no. kind of were you his were you Hot Rod's Arizona protection? At that time. I was I wouldn't say protection, but I, I was becoming that. Because you know, we started off on rough terms. Remember I did the garbage disposal? Yes. I dissed everybody. Right. Rod, this was before Man Up Squad? Rod was my brother. At this time, I didn't even know Rod. You know what I'm saying? He did a diss record. Okay. He was the only one who responded. Them niggas were scared. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rod responded. Uh, he called me something in the record, you know what I'm saying, the B word. I ended up, at that time, I didn't, I didn't know that's how this record, you know, whatever. So I was taking it, you know, personal, so I called him. I actually had a conversation with him. And, um, you know, it started off rough, but we ended up getting cool. Right. I'm just going to leave it at that. What year was this? This was before all the hype. So this was like... This is when he was working at a call center. Was this like 06? This is before 50 Cent even existed in our lives. So let me, hold on, let me show you. 06, 07? Yeah. <laughs> this is my 06. Yeah. Because I just dropped Garbage Disposal. Okay. And for the record, Garbage Disposal was a record where I kind of aimed at every artist. Who all did you diss from Arizona back then, just so we, I can age myself, um, so I know who was relevant enough to be dissed Anybody who had a Atlas? Did, Al anybody did who Atlas had a get name. it? Anybody who had a name. So Atlas. <laughs> and all these dudes is my brother, by right. the way, so I'm not trying to, you know what did I'm saying? Did you diss Irock? I rock was the only one that didn't get it. I rock from my hood. Uh, <laughs> did MC Magic get it? MC Magic got it. Uh, ninety eight, um, ninety two point three even got it, bro. Um, Survivalist. Survivalist got it. Buki got it. And these, this Buki, my brother, right? No, now. So this, crazy. but but His son's Buki understood. Too. Out of everybody, Buki understood what was what you were doing. He understood what I was because I had a cousin in a camp at the time too. Right. Commande, he was an R and B singer over there with them. So, I'm trying to think who was cracking back then. Everybody, Apollo. Poker face. Poker. Oh, oh, Apollo. I just Apollo. Apollo was the Poker white face, dude, right? And that's my bro too. We yeah. all cool. <laughs> who else? Uh, what was up? Who else? What was the uh, uh, the ball headed white boy Mega? He he was he wasn't. I don't think. I Justice don't think, I was didn't him. Cut Justice, logic. Just, logic Justice was doing was their thing. Coming up right under the next generation. Damn. Even though we were kind of the same age, he was kind of coming up. But um, what was a. Uh, Emmy, shout out to RTD, Emmy by the was way. dope. Emmy, shout out to Emmy. There was that whole like. But those those was the main rappers that I dissed at the time, and at that time, you know, uh, Full Life Records, they was killing it. Right. You know what I mean? Survivalists. Mm -hmm. Um. So, anyways, Hot Rod responded. Right. I don't know why, but I ended up getting at him on some whatever shit, and he pulled up to the studio actually, and he came to my studio. He came to saw my studio. He actually had on. His call center clothes and everything, fully dressed. Was it Etelicare? Huh? Was it Etelicare he was working at? I think it was. Uh, Etelicare was cracking. Everybody working. And I'm not even trying to. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just for saying sure. this was the real thing. You right. know, this was really like we was we was just normal kids at this time. Right. You know what I mean? And so um, he came to the studio. We met. This is after we we squashed our beef, or whatever. About a week later, he called me. He's like, "Hey man, Fifty called me, man." I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, man, he told me to quit my job." I'm like, "Word." He's like, yeah, man, I'm going out there. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. He said, yeah, he want to talk to you, too. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here. Because I don't even know him. Right. I don't even know Rod like that. Right. But this is, 
how the universe worked. You get what I'm saying? To get us together. You know what I'm saying? So he um, he ended up getting signed to 50. I ended up getting that call I was waiting for from 50 Cent. Right. Which and then you ended up hanging out in his mansion. and we, Yeah. 50 called me the next day. Like he said he would. We talked on the phone. For, we talked on the phone so long. I was like, yo, bro, I don't want to keep you on the phone this long. I was, he was so goddamn cool when we was talking. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, I want a new G unit. You know, have you and Rob, blah, blah, blah. He had this whole plan for me riding Carnegie. Mm. You get what I'm saying? R.I.P. Carnegie. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace, Carnegie. That's who gave me the body marked up record. Crazy. Carnegie. Rest in peace to him. Carnegie because he didn't have no tattoos. Mm. Yeah. So R.I.P. Carnegie. Damn. So anyways, um, uh, Rob gets to 50 Cent House. 50 give me a call. He fly me out. I didn't believe it, man. I get there first night in 50 Cent's house, right? You can't fight in this house. <laughs> you can't um, can't bring girls over there. Right. You can't do none of that type of shit, which is, you know, normal. Respectable. Yeah, it's his house. Yeah. Uh, Yayo getting a fight. This is my first experience in 50's house. Yayo getting a fight the first night I get there. He's fighting some dude in the house named Hove. Uh, they're fighting. I don't know what if, I don't know if it was over 50 Cent or... Uh, whatever. Well, I'm not saying like that, but I'm just saying they were fighting over something that had to do with 50. Okay. Hove was the babysitter of the house. Okay. So I see this situation kind of, I haven't met 50. When I got there, he wasn't there yet. Next morning, he has an intercom and in all, he has a conference phone in all of the rooms. I was staying in his son's room. It's about 15 rooms. Mike Tyson old match. Yeah. It's in what, like Connecticut. Yeah. Yes, sir. I think it's Hartford. Hartford by Hartford. Yeah. yeah. It's right by Hartford. Yeah. Um, he calls 6 o'clock in the morning. Who's in my house? Whoever's in my house, come in the conference room. We all go to the conference room, bro. I swear to God. And I'm, I'm trying to... I don't want to rush this story because it was. I got to be detailed no, about Oh, of course. This. It Please. gets fucking Please. detailed, bro. We get in the conference room. We're sitting at a table just like this. This is my first night at 50's house. Remember, Hove and old boy getting a fight. Yeah, yo. We all sitting here. 50 walks in. First time he has on a hoodie. I'm like, damn, everybody's scared of him. So I'm not saying nothing. I didn't say, hey, what's up? I'm here. You know, none of right. that. He looked at Yayo. He like, what's up? What happened? He looked at Ho. Ho didn't say nothing. He like, what happened? Then Yayo was like, son, call me a pussy. <laughs> or something. Um, they, they had a fight in a swimming pool. It was a, um, they had, 50 had a pool inside of his house. Sounds about right. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, Hove threw a chair at Yayo. Yayo caught the fucking chair like Superman. Yayo had a cast on his arm because he stabbed his he stabbed himself the night before, cutting a hole in his Louis Vuitton belt. So he caught so this it was all kind of shit going on in, in this nigga's house my first night. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? So 50 and Yayo's having to talk back and forth. He he says old boy calls him a pussy. As 50's talking to Yayo, I swear to God, he puts his hand on a big glass window like Tony Montana. Like this, he's like, what's the rules of fighting in my house? <laughs> yeah, yo, it's like, there's no fighting in your house. He said, do you think you're exempt? <laughs> I swear to God, kid, I swear to God on my life. The nigga said, you think you're exempt? Yeah, yo, it was like, no. He said, Monday I'm calling Jimmy, you're going to Geffen. And walked out, I swear to God, right? I'm like, who the fuck is Jimmy? Who the fuck is Geffen? That's what happened with the game, right? <laughs> he Man. ended up going to Geffen. So... 50 walk out of the room. We have girls. We have all kind of people. At, we, we don't even know who's at this table. Right. I'm sitting there. So I'm, I remember, I'm the new guy. So now we're sitting here for about an hour. Everybody's scared to talk. It's about 30 minutes after 50 walk out. I exaggerated. And I finally said something. I was like, is the meeting over? And it's like, yeah, I guess. Then everybody got up. That shit crazy. <laughs> so that was like my first experience at 50 House. Um, it was cool, though. 